See this pakim. Hello and welcome back to another revision, uh, this time at the Pillory, uh, where we will look, go over a game we played a couple of days ago. Uh, to all of you new to this channel, uh, this channel is about the board game Tribune, where you essentially have these uh, pieces, you can stack them on each other to uh, form a unit, and these units behave differently. And so they can interact to basically change. If you're uh, more, uh, if you have a little deeper interest in this, uh, we have a few tutorials also on this channel. But this game, uh, or, or this uh, video, is going to be about this game. Yeah, yeah. Let's load the game. Nice, and I'm just going to make sure that I cannot start the ghost mode. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and you started very early and very belligerent, as always, pointing down the alley with your riders uh, so far in the garage. But I thought, hey, you have an Equus, I have an Equus, let's clash. Yeah, and so I thought about engaging in a fierce battle, but then I thought, well, I'm better than this. Uh, and, and so I decided to do something else. And so uh, if you're wondering, uh, the question is whether I built uh, a, uh, a rider here to basically uh, go into a staring contest. But I did not like the prospect of doing that. And these two riders won't clash at all. They have both vision problems. <laughs> okay. Now there's a second dude also on the white fields. So it's going to be nasty over here. I have to protect this dude somehow at the moment. Let's just take a look. He is sufficiently protected. But that may change in the future, so I have to be vigilant. Yeah, and so essentially I had nothing here, uh, as all of the white hexagons were a little bit uh, clustered, uh, or, or pieces were clustered on the white hexagons, and I couldn't see through them. By the way, when you're confused that sometimes the pieces jump and for a short time change their appearance, well, that's always when when the system repairs the board, uh, checks that everything is according to the real game in the past. So this is just uh, a feature, I would say. Yeah. And so if you look, uh, you see I essentially mirrored you. Um, and I didn't do this uh, because I had no idea. Uh, it was more like a, I'm looking at this kind of unit uh, in the long run. Yeah, but you are one move ahead, right? You started the game, so you are conducting the theater. That's true. Now, uh, you're kind of threatening there and you're uh, maybe attempting to build an archer there via using symmetry. So that's when I decided uh, that I wanted to do something on this flank. Mm. Right? Um, it would not be a very good decision to take here, as you would win three, but this is, oops, uh, this is defended by those two units. So you would lose four pieces, and that would not be a good trade. It would just be lost. Yeah, but taking this dude on the flank, maybe in the short run, seems a little ridiculous to spend time just cutting down one soldier, but they are very solid, those four here, and when you chop down one after another, it becomes loose. Maybe. I don't know. I guess this one wasn't the best choice. Yeah, so... There are two things that can happen. Either you can like take and then I would retake. Mm. Or I just don't do any of this and just go out of the way. But I instead uh, did a reattack. 
So mm -hmm. I attack here. I'm threatening three pieces, so the threat of losing one isn't that important anymore. And you have to do something about this one. And I guess I completely blanked about the possibility of going here. Yeah, putting pressure. I mean, this is also a little belligerent, threatening the Sagittarius here, and he's not protected at all because at the moment you build this Equus, you gave up the protection of this dude completely. So now the pressure is on you. But honestly, had you gone here, I think I just had tried to cage you in. Yeah. This is very important. You don't have a lot of defense on the black hexagons. Mm -hmm. That's so correct. it's a primary defender, and so yeah. if it's not there, then... One move prior! As you remember, when I went forward here, your archer wasn't positioned in the center. So I would have time to chop it down, and then you cannot cage me in. I'm just coming here, you... you yeah, you hurt my unit, and then I re-attack again, and it's very, very brutal. So um, now yeah. I'm defending. It's a very well-defended unit, and I'm just keeping an eye out for this one. Also, I have opportunities to combine them. So uh, usually you don't want an isolated slave somewhere, especially not uh, somewhere where you can't get to them, as they are very slow. Mm -hmm. And so I just, this was just a hand-off move, it's like a, it's your turn now, uh, and I was going to see what you would do. Yeah, one thing is for sure, you annihil annihilated the threat from the Aquas completely. Now, well, I have to come up with a better plan, and I'm not sure that this was part of it. But you see, a lot of the spearmen around is very solid and very headaching for you to find the right way to come in. But the dark hexagons are probably the most loose factor in my defense. Yeah, they are, and that's exactly why I attacked this Aquas. Yeah, now it's it's a fork. I mean, you have still counterplay, you're threatening this one, so I have to do something about him. Uh, but, you know, I, I could deal with about this uh, with a combination. And now I'm not uh, threatened anymore. So, uh, before, this was like the lurking threat, I just uh, distracted you, and then you forced me to do th something, but I then could get rid of the threat, which is a very nice move. Mm-hmm. And so, I'm curious, I probably am doing something about him. Yeah, changing the color complex, re-attacking. But you see, this is not kind of a threat here. Because he's defended at a maximum level. Ten points of material staring down on his, his shoulders, so he's feeling quite comfortable at the moment. And I, I don't know what I was... <sighs> thinking. The thing is, I was just like, let's have some fun, you know? Um, I was 99% sure that you could punish this somehow, mm -hmm. uh, but I did not see like a good way to do it. So for example, if you try to cage me in like this, uh, essentially saying that all my escapes are somehow bad, so this is defended by two, uh, this is defended by four, uh, and so is this. And so then I would go here and attack you, and then maybe go there. So I thought of this, I was like, yeah, you don't have anything... Yeah, but, 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 I could do something like that. Attacking you, and at the same time, having this Sagittarius now, so there is no escape. But it takes time, and time is a factor, right? Yeah, and still, I'm not very convinced, you know? I... The I worst mean, thing I that happens is you, you... Yeah. You take one, I take two, you take one, I take one, and 
we see that essentially I traded down. And that's just because my dark hexagons were completely weak. And so that's why I was just like, yeah, I, I can do this. I can afford to do that. And I'm basically eyeballing this unit uh, as it could prove to be a major weakness if this defender uh, were to lose sight of it. This is sad. Yeah, but, you know, you have still your counterplay. Like, I I like this move. You're, uh, yeah. you're forcing the issue on me. So. Yeah. And again, maybe for newcomers, uh, let's just take one step back, please. Oh, that's when okay. I When I would go here and take, or maybe even Impero, then you could retake with this Hestatus, but... This wouldn't change the situation at all because the status here, you see the red circle here indicating that I could still kill your Tribune. So essentially there is... Yeah, it is not protected against an Equus. It is protected against almost any other unit, but not against the Equus. <laughs> and so I moved out of the way. This is now very much protected, uh, so you can't really do anything about this. Mm -hmm. But this is again not a very um, forceful move. So it's again your turn to like put a little bit of pressure onto me and you threaten me like this. And I like when one of these Sagittarius dies or, or goes away, then the whole situation, uh, the, the protective situation around the Tribune crumbles. You see, my, my protection is, it is very solid. I, he's kind of a gadfly. Pesky, but maybe I can get rid of him. Now... So, you maybe remember my words from before, where I said I would try to combine these. I did now, and the idea was very simple. Uh, this isn't really a threat, as I can defend it. But I'm now trying to go here and attack him. Ideally, uh, I would get a position, uh, I don't know... I where, think where I would move. I don't know. This is a terrible move, but yeah. uh, essentially, I want this uh, defender to lose sight of this unit, and then I would take Emperor. And that could really be a terrible thing, mm. devastating attack. Um. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. This is kind of an exchange. Both of us lose, but, well, one moment, I guess, it was the correct move order from my side. Yeah. Maybe turn it, turn it back, turn it back. This is a complicated situation, uh, especially for newcomers. Um, so, essentially, my, my idea was in this situation, you take... I take, yeah. you cannot take here. Right. In the game, it happened like this. I, You take here, I cannot move away. I'm too weak. I have to take something and remain seated. Yeah. And then you can take here as this was the defender, and I've lost three pieces. And I yeah. actually saw this, but I, I saw it too late. <laughs> I guess this I move order gets brilliancy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so uh, that's Triple how I... Triple exclamation uh, mark! <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah. Yeah, so, and you do it uh, as you told. You come with the Sagittarius threatening this Equus with bad intentions about this dude coming to life. Well, and I completely fell for it. You do not even defend against this situation. I mean, five bad guys in your neighborhood and you 
keep calm. Well, you could even make an argument that it's eight. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps yeah. even more. But like the thing is, you I have like a checklist when I'm evalu uh, evaluating a threat. It's like, first of all, how are they going to get rid of me? Uh, uh, of my ex escape hexagons. So this is the only escape hexagon that's basically useful. And so you can either do this, you attack like this and um, defend. Yeah, but then or, you can take here and escape. Or you can try to do something along the lines of this, uh, using this one as a means of uh, taking away the escape. But you cannot attack anymore. It's not forced. Yeah. This is a pity with the Aquas. The Aquas isn't strong enough. He has not enough power to split up in a convenient way. way. And so then you look at this one, and uh, if you know the slow flake, you draw a line and then a little crystal here, and you see that the uh, Tribune is on the uh, adjacent to the crystal, so you know that the uh, the archer cannot threaten him in one move. And this one might be on the correct color, but if it goes here, I take. Yeah. And if I then step forward with this servos, he's not protected and get killed in act and get killed in action. Well, but you had the reins in your hand, right? It was your move, and now I had to con consider wisely what to do, and I really hated it. I really hated it to become an Equus is such a bad move but but I could yeah, but see why can, can you can you take back because normally I would definitely prefer a Sagittarius but this Sagittarius is completely blocked by his own units and I guess you would easily get some something or someone taking control of the dark fields and so I chose the Aquas and I, I was hoping for a quick end having enough power in your neighborhood bringing you down it really yeah. surprised me that you went for this but I was like okay let's see <laughs> and now the the second big decision oh, oh hobbola <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> He's sporty. Um, yeah, I could have run or... Yeah. yeah. And maybe it would have been better. Now, I'm not that sure. I thought about maybe I can even get to the front line and, and participate in the attack. But usually this is not a good idea. And now I have to deal with multiple threats. You can become an Aquas here and hunt me mercilessly down. So I have to make room. Well, my idea in this situation was very simple. Essentially, you cannot really move. And so that's a big issue now. So you had to deal about with this somehow and you did this. You opened up a little bit of uh, space for yourself. And I was like, all right, uh, <laughs> let's threaten him. Now, I was partially <sighs> expecting you to become a Centuria. Uh, and I don't really know. Yeah, you actually are. Uh, well, uh, uh. I was uh, a little bit. <laughs> I underestimated the power of the Centuria. <laughs> Yeah. I really did. Yeah, yeah, but, but here already is an Aquas. Yeah, so... Training his gun at me. I can't really remember. Yeah, I did this. Not that great, but... Um, so essentially you have to take this. Mm. Or at least it's very natural. You're attacked. This one defends everything. So this one defends both of those. So you would kind of usually take this. And uh, yeah. 
And I thought, well, I'm up 5 points of material, this must be good. But remember, 7 points of this material is completely bound beneath my Tribune. And so 5 minus 7 is minus 2. You have two more soldiers in the field, man. So I, yeah, oh, I initiated a gigantic trade. Um, and this was the point where I decided not to trade anymore. So I have 20 pieces. And so that should be around about enough to take down the other pieces. But uh, you usually shouldn't trade, uh, as the more pieces you have, the easier it's gonna be in the end. As the Th Centuria Tribune is very much terrible at protecting everything else. It's only a very aggressive unit, and so essentially you try to pick this uh, position apart and take everything until he's left and uh, then you win. Essentially, that's like the game plan. Let's see. What the heck? Could you please repair the board? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm doing it. Um, yeah, and, and you see, my attack plan was completely messed up. I had eight guys going to work and just four of them remaining and there's not really work to be done. And now I even shut down all of your uh, combination ideas. Mm. That must have sucked. <laughs> like, essentially you tried to do something here, combining on either of those hexagons, but I shut that down immediately whilst building uh, an Aquis. Mm. Boop. <laughs> Well, <laughs> yeah, it was a That's... bad situation. This Sagittarius could not combine here, nor there, nor there. I would have liked to, to combine here, but this archer is taken care of. And dude, now I'm not up material. I'm down a lot because you own three of my soldiers and seven are completely bound and now I have let's say 13 13 active pieces that's not a lot it's almost a third of my whole army but it's still an interesting game yeah uh, but I have to take care now yeah and so I uh, you know I th I did not everything great but Essentially, uh, the, this board is pretty much empty, and the guy with the ranged pieces will always have an edge over the guy that has not. So yeah, you roll it. Start with slow units compared to those, mm. like, and like this. Mm. Um, Yeah, but I you step aside, like this. and now there is no threat, nor can I just jump over this unit and encroach. There's no point. Yeah, and actually, I'm just take, uh, going to take this move back. I was so upset right now. If I had anything that could have protected this unit, I would have been in great shape. Like... Imagine for a second this would be the position. Mm -hmm. You cannot move. Like this piece is complete and utter garbage. So for example, this unit takes away these four hexagons. Yeah, this my archer, own archer. My own archer! This archer takes away this. The Aquas takes away these three hexagons. And the this dark rider equus, takes away the rest. These four. And so essentially you're stuck. 
You cannot move anymore, and if I just attack you now, I win. Essentially a perfect position. Uh, but, <laughs> of course, that could not happen. I could not protect this, and so I had to move back. But I stayed on this diagonal, as I did not like the prospect of you going to this hexagon and threatening both. Mm. But I thought that could really be a loss. Yeah, not very much of a plan. Just throwing everything I have at you. I mean, sometimes it just plays out. <laughs> I mean, I like that you're kind of pressuring me and threatening all those trades. Because yeah, again, I... I don't want to trade. Yeah, of course. Now I'm going for a draw. If I can manage to trade everything down then at some point you are not strong enough to bring down a Centuria Tribune, which I already am. Or even worse, get killed myself. As yeah, if you honestly, know, yeah. if I don't, if I have too little material, you can just march along the edge of the board and just suffocate me. Mm -hmm. Hey, so, callousness is not not okay in this situation, so it is still tense. And I like this move instantly. Maybe, can we take back? I did not really take a lot of time. I was thinking of maybe there is a trap, but as you mentioned before, there is not much room for me to, to move. And now there is the open door. By, by blocking your unit, I can now step onto the fresh grass and breathe again. And so... And I'm seeking, I'm seeking my way in. Yeah, and I was pretty much devastated at this point. Uh, as I had a lot of issues, essentially, defending myself. <laughs> I chose to go for this sort of thing. Uh, as it was essentially a threat to you. It seems like a desperation move, but it's quite reasonable. It... Because yeah, of and... this dude here. I cannot step through. And the m most important thing about this is I, and I was anticipating this the most important thing about this position is that I have no grey defense. So this way I just block you. This is why this uh, piece is so important, as I cannot let you through. And this one is just there to attack you. And so I think this was like the only move that even worked there. Uh, I was... <laughs> I, I tanked a lot of my time there. I you know what I should have done? Maybe take take one step back. It is so ridiculous. But I, I, I thought maybe just, again, throwing everything and, and sacrificing. But how about this move? Oh, you're attacked. Um, I, yeah, okay. <laughs> Forget about the words of the silly old man. Yeah. So you took and I took... Uh, oh, wow. I did not take. Interesting. Yeah, but you yeah, re-attacked. Yeah, I threatened you, uh, made you go away, and then I took, presumably. Yeah. yeah. Like this. Yeah, you, you hold your nerves. Like this, it's more professional, and you go here. Uh, essentially, you th uh, force the issue on the opponent every move you make. <laughs> This was brilliant. This brilliancy is for you. Five of those exclamation marks, my friend. This is really no. a defense nightmare from my perspective. And I looked at this and I was at first really terrified. And so then I th thought, well, what's the concrete idea behind this? And I started looking, how can you get through 
this defense. And I thought, well, you can't. Mm -hmm. So essentially, these pieces and the Tribune make uh, create like this two, uh, this wall of a width of two. And you cannot step through this. And my own personnel is standing in the way. That's why you have to choose your stuff, your staff, your staff wisely. I mean, who hired this guy? What is he doing at the edge? Come on! Well, he's taking your opportunity to win. Yeah, but he's not supposed to. He's on my paycheck. And so I was really amused about this. Like, literally, if this would not be there, I would be in so much trouble right now. <laughs> Ridiculous. As I had more or less nothing to defend against your uh, <laughs> invasion there. But so I just could take there. Uh, if you d uh, couldn't pick yeah. up on it, I just took. Now we're three, now there are two. Uh, one. So now there's literally nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and now there is anything. Oh, nothing again. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude. And I just took. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Would have in been interesting, though, if you took there. That could have been an interesting idea. Yeah. But I'm very thankful that you didn't. Hmm. And you went there, and I think that's when you noticed that you don't have anything. <laughs> yes. But Nothing the at all. Uh, you might be question why I uh, created this as this would be a trait, but now that it's a different trait, you see, there are only lonely pieces on the whole board. Yeah, scattered around. And this one is the only batch that can move, that can do anything. Like, you could make an argument that these two can combine in the future, but even uh, even so, it would be very slow. It this takes four or can... five moves when they get to the field of action. Yeah, so this can pose uh, some concrete problems to me. For example, uh, something like this would be really annoying if I couldn't take. As if I go away, you get in. As this hexagon is defended by this one, and this would basically de pry me away, mm. right? So I had to take your uh, control away, in a sense. And you didn't like it. I, I <laughs> had no clue. No clue what to do. And I just threatened you. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I like this move. Um, it would have been really easy to take two pieces, uh, but it would have been much worse, I think. Like, you, you're keeping yourself uh, open for options, and I think that's a really wise decision. <laughs> nice words! Stroking my soul. I mean, already at this point, you out there sense who's at the pillory. Yeah, and, oh, where was it? Somewhere here, uh, we did a little bit of detour. Um, not yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to get your pieces to, to uh, you know, to get you uh, to good use, which is. Like, the only reasonable thing you can yeah, do now. now. I open the door. The second <laughs> useless soldier. Step aside, let the Tribune do it. <laughs> but and there are uh, several easy ways to prevent me from going there even. Yeah, this is one of those. But I, I this was an interesting idea. Yeah. Um, we're going to go on a little bit of a detour here. 
this is not how the game continued, but th I planned this out uh, in, uh, in beforehand. Uh, so, with the rule of thumb. So, usually, if you can threaten the uh, enemy tribune with your own piece, that's great. If you have a Centuria Tribune against a usual Tribune, that is extremely fortunate. So, most people would have gone here. Mm. I planned ahead and I planned... Whoops, that a is... A teleportation not... move. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to move up. Uh. Uh, there are two things. Either you do something more or less irrelevant... Or you, I don't know, this? Nah, 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 nah. I would chop him down. Oh. And now oh, yeah, I okay. can step over him, right? But yeah. you can take, because of this Sagittarius. He's yeah, very so important here yeah, at this point. You would do something. Uh, and essentially I, th I thought I could, I was faster than you. Like I could go here, for example, in the future. Yeah, probably you are faster. So and I have no way back. What if you go here? Right? Well, then... I could play this move. Ah, this is awful. Now I'm repelled. See? Yeah, so... The Tribune this... himself attacks, takes away this field, and... Those dudes say no, 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 no to these fields and then this one. And so, because still of the stupid dudes, I have to go where your home spot was. Oh, no. Uh, ah, now you repaired everything. Sometimes a repair is a devastating move. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to, well, yeah. that was bloopers. Um, anyhow, that's now, what it was. Going here and then you can finish the game in style like yeah. this. And so that's how the game could have proceeded if you Horrible. like got into my trap there, <laughs> which is kind of funny. You, you kind of beams here and die. <laughs> Just to die. <laughs> you invited me to your home, and then this. This is what you do to your friends. Anyhow, that, that did not happen. Yeah. I, I, wait. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This, Slow this down. Original situation where one could have gone here. Okay. Now, right. back in the so, seat. Buckle up. You did not fall for my trap, sadly, and you went away. And so... I, it was a little bit more... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Take a look at the clock. I tried to play you out on time. I had plenty of it. But you held your nerves. Yeah, and this was like a very interesting situation. So just picture well, yeah. yourself in this position. What do you think? Is this a great position or not? This Aquis is not defended. I can take it. No, I cannot because I remain in position. And you kill me with this Sagittarius. It's ridiculous. And interestingly enough, this unit takes away so much of your uh, escape. Essentially, you cannot go here, 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 or here. This unit prevents you from going here or here, and so you are forced to go there. Uh, especially as uh, this one also takes away this. Yeah, so but if I go there, then he is playing a fantastic role in, in keeping me under control. Like in, in Ghostbusters, when they pick their partial cannons out and, and hold the ghost in position, that's like him doing the perfect job cutting away these very important fields now Chris crossing here. they cross it's it's completely alike in Ghostbusters two of those dudes holding me in position I cannot move you caged me in this is 
I have no no more exclamation marks to spend. Now that was rather disgusting. <laughs> yeah, even you recognize that it is disgusting. And so you're essentially stuck and I just had to attack you once more. Oh, yeah, I moved this on my own. Uh, yeah, but I now this act with... Like this? He says... <laughs> and you cannot run away, which is very <laughs> savage. Like in Pamplona, yeah? Where the guys run down, <laughs> run down the street and a whole stampede of, of cattle behind. <laughs> And so you try to be funny, threaten me at the end, by, but I had none of it. I just moved away like a badass. <laughs> and you kind of ran out of moves here. And why did you do? Because you did not like to be under attack at the end of the game. It had to be a clean cut. Yeah. So Showing the world that I am inferior. <laughs> Thanks a lot, pal. <laughs> but... You know, I just yeah. really like not being attacked at the end of the game. Mm. And so now there was like literally no way for you to attack me. And so you had to do something and then I won. <laughs> I don't think that was a fair play violation, but you oh. know, you can, <laughs> you can leave your opinion in the uh, comments down below. Completely dishonored by rolling down the manual. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. A lot of digressions, but this game deserved it. It was, again, one of our really, really deeply interesting and good games. And hell, if you are out there want to join into this fantastic scenery, then go down to the uh, description below. They will find a link to our homepage www.tribun.org. From there you find everything you need. In the download section you find the manuals, you find, if you have access to a 3D printer, the uh, 3D files for the pieces, and you find uh, the board, the hexagonal shaped battlefield. Then you can play in the real world. Or you come to the tabletop simulator. If you have one, great! Then be welcome. Our DLC is completely for free. And come to our Discord channel. Say hello. We will probably say hello back. And then uh, we are in touch and we can get going. Maybe having a nice tournament or at least a nice time. By Thanks the way, for you. Uh, Sorry? just want to mention uh, if you're not sure what to Google for, uh, in the navigation bar, the Discord server and everything else is linked. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, that, that's why www.tribun.org is the right place to go. Um, thanks for your time and participation. We hope you enjoyed this video. We did. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Support us by giving a like and uh, subscribe to the channel and spread the news that there is an amazingly fantastic board game out there. And see us soon. On Tribune.